Hey, it's your boy, uh, Furry. Welcome to the official casting call for Virus 0-1 animated series. Virus 0-1, whatever you want to call it. I'm cool with anything, to be honest. I don't care what you call it. So this story was originally going to be a comic. I came up with the idea in early 2017, but I had a literal shower thought about it being an animated series, and I went full-on brain rot and wrote everything out for it. I already have the whole story written out for it anyways, so making a script was super fast. Making it an animated series would be much faster and more interesting than a comic in the long run. So the only rules I have for auditioning are fair quality mic, of course, and somewhat confident in your lines, you know. Confidence always goes pretty far. That's pretty much all I have. <laughs> Anyways, so a quick synopsis of the story without spoilers is uh, Chloe, our protagonist's whole world is flipped upside down when she is sucked inside her computer and must find a way out before the whole computer is destroyed by a virus. The specific lines for each character will be all in the description, so if you could check that out, that'd be cool. Um, now on to the characters themselves. These are the only characters that are appearing in episode one. I will make more casting calls in the future when other characters are needed. So here we go. Uh... So here's our protagonist, of course. Her name's Chloe. She's 22. She's pretty chill and laid back. She seems like she has everything together, but is dying internally. Sometimes monotone voice. Uh, she's like the embodiment of this emoji. I don't have a headcanon voice for her, so imagine her how you'd like. She also has a ton of lines and is very important. I prefer a more feminine voice, but honestly, anybody can uh, audition for her. I don't mind. All right, on to the next character. He's our deuteragonist, which means secondary protagonist. Uh, his name is Explorer. No relation to Internet Explorer. Please do not sue me. He's upbeat and excitable, sometimes really shaky and just really is a nervous boy when he's scared. He's pretty knowledgeable about topics he cares about. My headcanon voice for them would be like Fix-It Felix Jr. from Wreck-It Ralph. I don't know why I always imagine their voice sounding like that. It's, it's weird, but I'm always happy with the interpretation, so do whatever you like. I, I'm always okay with that. He also has a lot of lines, too, because he likes to over-explain things, and, you know, he's one of the main characters. Anyone can voice him. Anyone can try out. I don't mind. Next character is our Tritagonist. He doesn't have as many lines in the first episode, but he's still very important to the plot. His name is System32. He is stoic and strong, very smart, and very protective of people he loves. He's also really knowledgeable as well. I don't really have a headcanon voice for him, uh, so I'm up for interpretation of whatever you want to do. Uh, I prefer a deep masculine sounding voice for him, mostly because I just always imagine him having a deep voice. So I prefer more masculine sounding voices. All right, let's go. Next character is the main antagonist, the evil bastard himself, Virus. Uh, he's Loki, my favorite OC of mine. I don't know why, but don't tell my other OCs, please. <laughs> he's very smooth talking and intelligent. He's very arrogant. Sometimes their voice can get very scary, strong, and gruff. My headcanon voice for him is sort of similar to Scar from The Lion King, but a lot less rough and more smooth. So like a really evil British sounding person. He has a lot of lines because of course he's the main villain. I prefer a sort of masculine sounding voice. I, I, I want it more towards masculine. Uh, okay, on to the next character. Next character is a really important side character. His name is Antivirus. He's very happy and calm. He wants to make sure everyone is safe and he can also be super excited and happy. I have a headcanon for his voice. It sort of sounds like Mirio from My Hero Academia, kind of. But again, I'm always open for interpretation. That's kind of just how I always imagine him. He doesn't have that many lines. Like, if you just want to try out for a character that doesn't have that many lines, this is the character that you want. Uh, he's still very much important to the plot, even if he doesn't have that many lines. Anyone can voice him. I don't mind. Again, I'm always up to uh, interpretation. All right. The next character I have is a minor antagonist. His name is Chrome. Again, no relation to Google Chrome. Please don't sue me. He is cocky and arrogant. He's an asshole. He loves rubbing his successes in people's faces. And he's always suspicious of others. He's pretty important to the plot as well with a medium amount of lines. I don't really have a headcanon voice for him, so I'm always up for interpretation. Anyone can voice him. I don't mind. The last character I have for today is... Chloe's friend, April. 
I will admit she only has a tiny appearance at the beginning, but she's still as important as the main cast. And I still need lines for her. <laughs> she's upbeat and excitable. She likes Chloe a lot and wants the best for her. Voice is up for interpretation as well. And anyone can voice her. I don't mind. I don't, I can't imagine her voice in my head. So surprise me with that. I also have super, super minor offhand lines I need from some extras. So if you want to audition as like a citizen for one or two lines, that would be awesome. All right, I think that's all I have today. I have the whole script of episode one written out. I'm fairly fast at animating. I'm not entirely sure how long it'll take me, but I say it might be between 10 to 15 minutes of animation. I look forward to listening to all your auditions and I wish you all good luck.